So for today, we're going to be looking at the Red King's Crown. If you guys don't know, this is an ornament that is available and was, I should say, because this is literally like <laughs> five or four days before the new episode is out. So I don't know if they're going to be reselling this in the new episode. Um, I'll probably have it in the comments below if they are or not. But yeah, we're going to be looking at the Red King's Crown ornament. We're going to be doing a few sets. The first one's going to be revolving around the rat aspect of it the second one is going to be revolving around the fur aspect of a rat and then the last one is going to be more of a fanatical rat follower type of thing you guys will see when we get into it but let me know what you guys think about the armor specifically the rat king's crown ornament i do think it's pretty cool but i would love to hear your thoughts uh, remember we're going to be posting a bunch of content next episode next episode's packed with a bunch of content it's not even funny so i'm really really excited a lot of the armor is going to be really really cool to showcase as well so let me know what you guys think if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be using sealed ahankara grass for the exotic and then for everything else uh megalomorph vest for the chest piece shadow strides for the boot and then the pyric ascent cloak for the cloak obviously dreaming spectrum is what we're using just because i wanted that bone in there because again this is going more for like the skeletal pieces of a rat specifically the rat is the helmet for or the helmet is the rat skull um the boots have that like the talons which i mean i know rats don't have talons but they have like claws which speaking of claws on um, sealed on car grass has that claws and then for the megalomorph specifically it was just more of an anomaly uh, an anatomical thing <gasps> excuse me more than anything else and then the pyric ascent cloak uh honestly i just really like how it looks with this one uh the back almost looks like the bones is just like sh like pointing outwards which is really cool and yeah this is specifically was more just a bone type of thing more than anything else because all of these do have a theme to them this one is obviously more of a skeletal uh rat that's like just killing people i don't know what to tell you <laughs> yeah it's really just it so yeah that's why we're using dreaming spectrum i was deciding whether or not to use the other bone colors specifically the other like ahamkara shaders but I just, I didn't like them. Like they didn't look that good. Not only that, the uh, dream or the Rat King's crown, uh, the top plate takes a different color than the actual bottom plate. So that's why I also went with Dreaming Spectrum because it just combines it into one color compared to the other two where um, the gold was on the top. And then for the other one is like either green or no, it's blue that was on top. So I was just like, I'm just gonna use Dreaming Spectrum because it's the best shader in my opinion, so. This, this this one is definitely really cool is it my favorite probably not because i do think the titans is pretty cool which let's just get into it right now titans for the exotic we're going to be using the stoicism with the hellenistic principal ornament i think this looks amazing and this one will be used for the titan stoicism exotic video because i think this one is really cool that being said i don't know if they're taking this ornament away next season because they usually do that where the next season after they showcase something it's not available next season it's available the season after well i should say episode now but whatever either way uh, the rat king's crown for the helmet obviously for the chest piece and the arms i decided to go for the lichen gauntlets and the lichen plate because again this is going more for a like a fur rat thing so that's why i'm using the lichen stuff because obviously the chest piece has that fur and the shoulder pads as well um for the boots technosaurus stompers just because i wanted like some fiber of like claws there and then again the mark is what we named it i honestly i think this one's really cool i definitely think this is the best one just because it really showcases the things that i wanted it to be showcased the fur obviously is one of them but i do think the technosaurus stompers also looks really good with this it definitely is my favorite i will say the hellenistic principle the only reason why i decided to go with this is because the back of the um the mark gives off like a tail vibe specifically like that carapace so that's why i ended up going with it but if you're like oh i don't know i don't like the i don't like this combo totally understandable uh the front is a little too bougie for, for my taste when it comes to everything else which is why i'm like like i i really like it but I will understand if you're like not feeling it at that point, I would probably just switch to some, some other exotic if I'm being honest. So yeah, this one's definitely my favorite, but I do see the flaws in it. 
And then last but not least, uh, Warlocks. For this one, we're going to be using the Nothing Manacles. Now, this one is much more of a a worshiper of rats, I guess you would say, because the chess piece scorn barren robes gives off that fanatical like believer type thing, which is why I used it for the boots, veil tithes boots, and then for the uh, the mark, no, for the bond, the hex wrap bond. So yeah, I definitely like this one a lot too, just because I leaned into that whole theme of this is a, a rat king worshiper. And with that theme, I was like, oh, this, this, this goes kind of hard because now you have a lot of things. You have those chains. You have the actual Rat King helmet, which is like, maybe he killed a rat. Maybe he found the rat and just started worshiping them. Um, yeah, overall, I really like this one. Is it my favorite? Probably not, just because I do like the Titan one quite a bit. Um, honestly, I don't think I have a favorite, just because each of them have their strengths, and I really like the themes that I went with them. Um, I usually don't like to go with themes in my armor sets i usually like to just make something that looks cool or have some sort of theme that's more like catered toward the actual armor itself and not have like a story background that's kind of more i should say i theme is fine it's more of a story background because then you could literally do anything like you just hit the random button and just come up with a story of why he's wearing the armor or why they're wearing the armor they're wearing but with this one it's a little bit more grounded in a theme because Again, like I said, the Hunter is much more of a bone rat. The Titans would be much more of like the fur aspect of a rat. And then the the Warlocks is much more of like a, a worshiper of rats, I guess you would say. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think this was really, really cool. I definitely do recommend these helmets if you are interested to do something cool like this. But I will say it is very much a... Uh, build your own adventure type of thing where you for me the only way i made it work was to make themes out of it which could be bad or good depending on what kind of person you are so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all coming to this point remember i don't know when this video is going to come out but i'm going to just say it like i'm excited for the new expansion or not expansion but the new um episode just because i feel like the armor is going to be really cool because we are getting a vampire themed set i'm assuming if we don't i'm just gonna laugh but yeah, we're going we're gonna to be getting the new ar the armor from the dude. Actually, yeah, we're going to be getting the armor from the seasonal seasonal ornament stuff, uh, the season, pa not season pass, but the seasonal activity stuff, and then the Eververse set and then the Iron Banner set. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're missing. I'm, I'm missing a few other pieces, but that's already four sets right there. I'm excited to do that. Plus the new exotics, plus the new exotic ornaments plus um some other things that we're going to be doing as well so yeah next expand or next fuck i can't i don't know why i'm saying expansion next episode is going to be really really fun so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later